here's our first look at the All-22. Um, going back and watching the game, equally impressed as the TV version. Um, one of the more underrated parts of this game was the very first drive. They really came out and hit us in the mouth. And we were able to stand up. Our defense was able to stand tall in the red zone and hold them to three. And that ended up being huge. I think it really set the tone. Um, they were running the ball. They were play action. They were really in a rhythm. Tyler Lockett had a big play. Chris Carson ran over Jabril Peppers. Um, but then we really stood up and our defense uh, kind of got off the mat and got held them to three. And that ended up being huge. We really settled down after that. Here, um, this is the third down. Russell Wilson's going to end up having all day. Everybody's covered in the end zone. He's going to find something that he likes. It's going to be Jabril Peppers ends up on Hollister. Um, he's going to work down here towards the flat. And then when, when Russell Wilson has all day, he's going to just kind of wheel out towards the back of the end zone. But Peppers is going to do an excellent job staying in phase with him and knock it down for a huge third down conversion. I mean, this is early in the game, first drive, but just really big play there by Peppers. Um, we got a lot of credit. Everybody was really hype on how well we did on third down, and we deserve that credit. But honestly, what made third down such a successful down was the success that we had early in the downs. Um, we really identified just how desperately that these guys and Russell Wilson, they just want these chunk plays, especially early in the downs. They will go up top, first down, second down. They don't wait till third to dial up something and to get aggressive and get after them. Um, we really, really, really did our homework. And Patrick Graham, he kept, kept our safeties deep. He stayed on top of their routes knowing that Russell Wilson is going to hang in there and hang in there and let those things develop. And that's going to give us time to get the pass rush, get home. Because he's going to hold on to that ball. He's not going to play it safe. They're going to test you vertically. We really did our homework here. Right here, you're going to see uh, Leonard Williams is going to come on this stunt. And come around. And eventually, he's going to get one, two, three guys on him. And then Tay Crowder is going to loop around and just have a clear path to Russell Wilson. These guys at the mesh actually mess this up, and they run into each other, but it's still going to be enough for Crowder to get there. Um, and you'll see Russell Wilson. He has a guy in the flat at the bottom of the screen there. By the time he gets to him, though, you see everybody down the field covered, running pretty deep routes. You got Bradbury down at the bottom on Metcalf with, with Jabril sitting on that. That's what you want. By the time he works to the flat, it's way too late at that point. And then you see right here, you see Leonard Williams as he comes. That You end up with three right there. That's, that's, that's what you want. And then by the time you're working to the back in the flat, it's way too late. And look at all the yards you lose. I mean, that's going to be, you look at where the play started, the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of eight. 10 i mean now you're second and 18 third and 18 here is one of those really long third and 18s i'm going to show this play just because this is going to end up with them on the 37 yard line and that's probably going to be a fourth and six after that yeah about a fourth and six you see um at our 37 and then they come out and then they take the delay game and then they punt I guess you can get down with that. It's Colt McCoy. But I just feel like that's a spot you should go for it. Fourth and six. Especially because it's Colt McCoy. I mean, what is the difference really between 25 yards at the best you're going to do? You know, the best you're going to hope for. Um, you know, we weren't moving the ball. You're not afraid of our offense. Um, I felt like they were really conservative. I felt like they really slept on us and just felt like eventually – we would fail. This is probably my favorite play of the game here. This is a fourth and one. We get a turnover on downs. And the guys that really, really do the work here is Carter Coughlin, who played a lot of snaps, was big. You got Blake Martinez. You got Jabril Peppers, those three. And then Isaac Yadams out here to the boundary. You can't see him. 
But look at the eye discipline here. Look at all the eye discipline. And what you're going to get is you're going to get uh, the offensive line slanted to the right to try to get this flow to overcommit. You have the three tight ends on this side. They're going to come in, and then you're going to leak out. You're going to get a leak out layers of receivers and tight ends, including the back who's involved in the play action leaking out. But if you watch eye discipline, eye discipline, eye discipline from Yadam, and then you have Carter Coughlin shooting inside, recognizing what's going on, and then just hustling. This is pretty much as good as team defense gets in a spot we had to have it in fourth and one. You look at Blake, you see he recognizes what's going on. Doesn't fall for the play action. Jabril is the same way. And then when you get out here, you've got Hollister. Then you've got Carson in the flat. And then you got another tight end late. It doesn't get more covered than this. And that's four guys that have to work together. And Carter Coughlin is really just hustling his ass off here. That's beautiful team defense. And they're off the field. That's our ball. This play, you got a lot going on here. One thing our guys do well, especially a veteran like Logan Ryan, who plays mind games, um, what you're going to see here is at the snap, you know, he was in the middle of the field. So you're thinking, okay, you're Russell Wilson. You're thinking, okay, middle of the field, one high. Love this right here. Love DK Metcalf. If you're gonna if you're gonna give me one high, I'm gonna take this all day. But then at the snap, you're rotating Logan Ryan up here. So now you are really loving this. That's where you want to go. You want Metcalf. And rightfully so, because he's a playmaker. So as Logan Ryan shades this way, you're not thinking about this at all. Because you're basically seeing two to this one. And then you're leaving one on one here. But at the snap, when he goes that way, you see Russell Wilson. He wants DK. What you have at the line of scrimmage is you had Lockett releasing, Jabril playing linebacker, carrying him up the seam. You're going to blitz Darnay Holmes. You're going to have all these three preoccupied. Jabal Sheard is going to buzz out to the flat. Leonard Williams works over to the tackle. And then what you're going to leave is the back coming over here to help because he has the blitz and then he'll release. And then you have this guard and he's just looking for work. He has no one to block. So he's going to go look for work. And help out right here. As soon as he does that. And he's looking for work. What you're going to get. Is Tay Crowder recognizes that. And as soon as that guard's heads turn. He's gone. And he's getting after Russell Wilson. And if he doesn't do that. As a very young player. It takes a lot of confidence. And a lot of courage. To make this with no fear. Right there. As soon as he goes and looks for that work. He's sprinting towards the quarterback. As this uncovers, the confusion caused up here with Yadam eyeing here, this guy's actually going to come wide open with Logan Ryan playing so deep. There's 15 yards of separation. But he's trying to work to DK. Bradbury does an awesome job staying on top of, the, of him the whole time while he can have his eyes on the quarterback. That's a really good technique, which he plays with all the time. By the time all of this develops and this route uncovers, it's going to be too late because Tay Crowder does a good job being decisive and getting after the quarterback. Hey, the guard's going to go look for work. You're going to give me this wide open path to the quarterback. I'm going to go ahead and get on my horse and get in his face. And Tay Crowder doesn't get any kind of stats for this. He's going to run him into Leonard Williams. But... Just a really decisive and aggressive play right there by a young, by Mr. Irrelevant. A seventh round pick. I mean, we'll show you from the end zone angle. 
this this isn't a play a lot of young guys make, even veterans when they're in this. I don't know if he's just playing a, like in the hook zone or if he's spying here. It looks like he might be spying. I don't think he has the running back. They're not in man. And as soon as that guard looks for work, he makes up his mind and shoots this confidently. And Russell Wilson has no way to get to his receiver coming on that dig late. Um, here's a, This is the play right before the Hail Mary. This is pretty simple. Um, stunt here run by Dalvin. You're going to get Dalvin. And you're going to get Leonard Williams. He's just going to come engage this guy. And come up and then Leonard Williams is going to time this up and run right off of his hip right into Russell Wilson while you have Carter Coughlin occupying the center with the back on that side. So you know exactly what you want there. This worked out perfectly. But it's not so much that they executed this. It's, 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 it's not the scheme. It's not something fancy. This is just great technique, great fundamentals right when you need it. This is third down. Game on the line, and that's what you get right there. And the next thing, next thing you know, they're throwing a hail mary on fourth and long for the game. So, I mean, great scheme. This is just my first time watching it through. All the cliches, not cliches, but all the talking points after the game of everything that we did to Seattle, everything that we took away from Seattle, we took away their big play. All of that definitely shows up on film. Yes. But as good as the scheme was, you really have to give credit to, to these players to be able to execute this stuff. And it's not even that it's complicated. It's that they're confident in what they want to do. They're unafraid to make mistakes. They know exactly what their responsibilities are. And it's not the scheme that's complicated, but it's when they're put in the line of fire, when the bullets are coming and it's live, these guys are reacting and these guys are attacking like confidently. Like they know what they're doing. Like they've really been coached up and really taught. They're really putting these guys in positions to succeed. And it's all types of guys, whether it's a Sheard, a street free agent, whether it's a Carter Coughlin, uh, a mid late round picks, a Mr. Irrelevant, Tay Crowder, uh, Darnay Holmes, just young guys, inexperienced guys. But, you know, we're into December. So these guys have played a lot of football, a lot of practices, and you're either ready or you're not. And our staff has these guys playing super confidently and just super aggressively. I can't say enough about how ready they look. Um, I'm going to continue to watch some more film on this game before moving to Arizona. But just the first quick glance, yeah, a lot of things showed up on tape. But one thing that was definitely driven home more than anything was that the technique that these guys play with, the fundamentals that they play with, is you can't really say enough about it. And it's really something they've built from the ground up that's evolved into this. You know, we, they definitely were not playing like this early in the season. And it's not some reinvent the wheel scheme. It's these guys have played and practiced and they come in and they try to get better at it and they reinforce the things that they've been preaching since the offseason. And then game plan wise, you can see that they really, really, really did their homework, especially in the early downs, knowing how desperately this offense wanted to go up top and wants to hit you with that knockout blow and able to take advantage of that and not only get sacks, but know that they're not going to wait to try to hit you in the mouth. They'll come out first down and throw down the field on you. And without some of these early down sacks on first and second down to get them in those really, really, really tough third down situations. I'm talking third and 18s, third and 20s. That went a long way in helping our defense get off the field. I know the third down numbers look sexy, but it was the work before third down that really, really helped us. All right, well, I'll check back in. I'm going to definitely watch more of this game. This is just a quick uh, first glance. But, yeah, and then I'm going to move on to Arizona and see how we can deal with Kyler Murray and them. All right.